We'll close up shop with uh, some memories here of all the fun things we did. Once again, youtube.com slash the Dan Patrick Show on Monday. It's free, and uh, we hope you get an opportunity to watch the program. It'll be uh, basically the same on radio uh, and our podcast as well. We're just changing the TV partner, and uh, we're doing it ourselves. Uh, so very excited about it, but very sad to say goodbye to uh, the wonderful people who uh, did this every single day. And for 10 years, we had a lot of memories. And we've been reminiscing. We've been showing some video of some of the things we've done. And we've done so many things that, you know, sometimes we refresh ourselves and we go, God, I can't believe that you wore that or you didn't wear that. Or, you know, I don't know if there's one thing that stands out for all of you guys. Uh, Pauling? I got, I got a couple. I was really happy that the day after the Cubs won the 2016 World Series, we were on the air. You know, because I've done this for a long time here with you and these guys. And to have the show be on the air the next day made it even better that the Cubs won. Two that stand out for me, um, having Al Michaels in studio, and this is more of a compliment to our production staff. We had a full steak dinner brought in at 6.30 in the morning, uh, East Coast time, or West Coast time, I should say, for Al Michaels so we could have steak night in Al America. And to have surprise Al Michaels, I mean, we brought in his chef. His chef got up at 4 in the morning. He brought in the, the waiter, the maitre d's. And we had a, a dinner for the great Al Michaels. His set. favorite, his favorite restaurant. And all our people, the production staff behind the scenes, did this surreptitiously. And then even better, because this is one that was important to you, when we got Jerry West, the great Laker Jerry oh. West, to come in as Jerry's Cakes and Torrance, and present <laughs> you with a cake on the 10th anniversary of the show. We had about 30 people involved in this, and they were all threatened to keep this secret so you didn't find out. And to see the look on your face when Jerry West comes out with a cake, and Jerry West looks pristine. Oh, he's right out of a catalog. Your hero, your dad's hero, to walk in. Uh, I was like, I can't wait to. And I was like, I got to. I was watching not Jerry, but your face. Was I was really looking. Cool. I couldn't see his face. He was in the shadows. I could just see like this gold sweater that he had on, and I was like, Oh my god, do we have the audio of this? This is how so it's we got a hold of Jerry's cakes in Torrance, and they brought us a cake. Eric, can you bring it in? It's a nice cake. Oh, the big German kids yeah. bringing in the cake. Yeah. Check out this cake, Dan. Yeah. Oh, nice. And the owner wanted to come in, too, to say hello. Look at that cake. Wow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Lakers Hall of Famer Jerry West, Dan. <laughs> Congratulations. Great to see you. Wow. That's wow. awesome. What's oh, happening, God. Jer? That's, as always. Al, Al Michaels was Al there Al with us. I didn't know what to do. I, I was like, oh, my God. Wait, Jerry West is delivering the cake, celebrating our 10th anniversary. Fritzy, you got one? That by far stands out. Knowing what Jerry West uh, means to you and be able to pull that, pull off that surprise and that it just, everything kind of lined up where Jerry was available. I think he flew in Do you early have that one? morning. My own personal one? Yeah, your own well, that, personal one. That was the one. one that I was planning on saying. Wait, you were Jerry going West with Jerry West I was. as the, your favorite personal one? I was, because I saw how emotional you got over it. All right, well then, let me move on. Is there a backup? Like, is, was there a, like a, the second favorite memory we'll on over the show? Monday. Chrissy Teigen in her little Santa outfit stands uh, out and, and snuggling with me on the couch. In the, Remember when you did Cougars of the Week? I did. Cougar of the Week, yeah. Very politically correct. Uh, yeah, of course it was. Uh, Seton, you got a favorite? I can't say that I have a favorite memory necessarily, uh, although, like, the Super Bowl opens, like we said before. But, you know, my life is so tied to this show uh, in so many ways because my son is 10 years old and we did 10 years of the of the TV show and when we first went to our we went to our first TV Super Bowl in Miami my son had been born uh, about two weeks before yeah and and I'd left and my wife was like no this is a big deal you have to go and uh, she had to stay home with our son and so I have so many milestones that are sort of linked together between the TV show and my own personal life yeah. Um, that they're sort of they're always going to be interconnected. His first Halloween, he came in in a in a little lion outfit, you know, and he sat there when we played Arcade Fire, and you could just see his chubby little face and his Halloween. <laughs> but you know, I'd, it, my life is just so linked to the TV portion of the show for those ten years that it's uh, I can't really escape it in a way. McLovin, this uh, similar to what Seton said earlier. Some of the uh, Super Bowl sets, uh, Indianapolis and New Orleans, said uh, when uh, guests would come on and they just had this look on his face, like, "What the heck is going on?" We here? built a high rise, a brownstone in New York for the Super Bowl. Yeah, do you remember the race car track, the Indy yes. Five Hundred race car track I, at Indy? This is this. I, I, they built a barn with a hoop in it, and because I was trying to 
antagonize Larry Bird to come over and shoot hoops. But th this is Chris Long who took a chance on this show, and, and Chris just, he never said we can't do something. He was always going to make it happen, and, and he did. He made some wonderful memories for us and uh, forever indebted to him.